the civil handicap chase is next and two more two furlongs north to one twenty again and as with the previous race I've got the top two, Nicky Mass and Damister. Oswald for Stu Gray, Madame Mylene for Padre Hogan, Yuma Alternator, Vinny Gerard, Brockton Bay, Matt Cooper, and Alex Cherry's got the bottom pair, Church Gaze and Foxtail. Does lightning strike twice in the same place twice? Well, we'll maybe find out soon, but it's not quite the same place because we're on the chase course this time. And it's Madame Maylin who's gone into the lead. Anybody who didn't see the previous race might not have a clue what I'm talking about. But that's your fault for not watching the last race. Church Gaze is the leader then. On the inside from Madame May Lin in second. And Oswald. And Foxtail next as they get to the first. And they're all safely over. Ox, Oxwald. Oswald was a little bit untidy and he's now three or four lengths adrift with the rest of them. And jumped that one quite slowly as well. So Damister has gone off into the lead then. It's into the third. It's over that one. Nicely mistake by one of the Alex Cherry horses there. I think it was Foxtail. As they get over that Grand National type fence. And we'll safely over that with Damister. A good six or seven lengths clear of stablemate Nicky Mass in second. And the Yuma Ultimator is back in third on the outside of Brockton Bay with Mar Madame Maylin after that one. Then Church Gaze Oswald is now back on an even keel and bowling along nicely with Foxtail, the back marker. But Damister seems to be setting a pretty strong pace at this point. And he's a good six lengths clear of his stablemate Nicky Mass in second, who's got a three length advantage on Brockton Bay and Yuma Alternator. Then come Church Gaze and Oswald as they get over this next one. And the leader flew over that one with Nicky Mass in second. Brockton Bay is now a clear third. Oh, and that time Nicky Mass in second gave it a bit of a wallop. And that's allowed Damister to step onto an eight length lead now as they get over the seventh defence. He's going up thick and fast. Look at this Oswald on the outside, really creeping up nicely. And it's Damister who continues to lead as they head down towards the next fence with Nicky Mass about eight lengths back in second. Then a three or four length gap to Yuma Alternator, Brockton Bay and Oswald. Then Madame May Lin, and the other two are out of shot at the moment. The Alex Cherry Pear, Church Gaze, and Foxtail. So they swing around this turn then. Damister blazing the trail. Clearer by eight lengths to Nicky Mass in second, and you wrong to later third. Front two not changing the race so far, really. The others have shuffled about a little bit. Brockton Bay going backwards and forwards and one has made significant progress at the moment is Church Gaze that one's crept through the inside and has got itself boxed in and they get over that one and Nicky Mass nearly went there it's a second mistake that one's made and has now surrendered second as they get over the ninth and Damister continues to lead from Humor Alternator who's now going into second Church Gaze has got a clear run on the inside now in third then Brockton Bay then Nicky Mass and Oswald as they get over the tenth mistake by Madame May Lin may have put pay to that one's chances Foxtail still struggling out the back one there cruising up to Damister now as they take this Grand National fence again Church Gaze made the mistake that time Brockton Bay on the outside and Nicky Mass trying to get back in to it but it's still Damister all holding on into the lead from Yuma Alternator in second Brockton Bay on the outside Church Gaze on the inside rail and then Nicky Mass just behind them bit of a gap back to Oswald and then Madame Maylin and Foxtail with work to do as Damister kicks on again with three to jump it's Damister in the lead from in second place Church Gaze then Yuma Alternator Brockton Bay Nicky Mass the top weight switches back around the outside and Oswald and Madame Maylin are trying to run on over to the third last and Damister landed in in the lead again from Church Gaze in second. This is the second last. It's still Damister in front. Brockton Bay's running on nicely in third. They're coming down to the final fence. And it's Damister who's got the lead from Church Gaze. Damister lands in front. Church Gaze in second. Brockton Bay in third. Nicky Mass back in fourth. Damister's holding on with a furlong to go. It's Damister in the lead from Church Gaze in second. Brockton Bay and Nicky Mass are getting closer. But Damister's holding on as they race up towards the line. Damister needs that line to come. Here comes Church Gaze. Church Gaze beginning to close. Damister just holds on take it. Church Gaze second, Brockton Bay third, then Nicky Mass fourth. Foxtail went at the last and pillar to post win for Damister. Only just held on. And the fast finish in Church Gaze, Brockton Bay back in third and uh, Nicky Mass was in fourth. So Damister takes it for Martin I'm not quite top weight this time. Church Gaze for Alex Cherry was second, Brockton Bay Matt Cooper third. 
Nicky Mas and Martin Lindemann again was fourth, and Una Ultimator for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.